all righty then <laughs> so i honestly haven't been like excited for the new wow expansions at all like like oh it's just gonna be another wow expansion um so i haven't really been looking at anything there wasn't anything that really caught my eye um until i actually watched the new wow cast the stuff that they actually are adding into the game look really good and i'm actually pretty excited for it so i did want to go over some of those new features and just like the game kind of in general so i'm going to kind of skip around and show you these new features that i really like um first we'll kind of kind of jump in here look at the new zones yeah it's so our first zone uh, the isle of dorn <laughs> This one does definitely look like a World of Warcraft zone. Yeah. This oh, is yeah. Basically, you'll find an isolated group of Kinda urban like northern. Men. So they have their awesome city, Dornagal, which we're very excited to, for players to check out. That'll Dwarf be the place. hub in the end. Dornagal. Uh, the second zone is the Ringing it's Deep. To be an island. This is like, you know, the evocative of like mine picks, industry. Looks really good. And so this is the heart of urban industry. Little guys. But it's not all just, you know, lava and fire. Whoa, it's uh, mixed whoa, whoa, whoa. with. Hold on. Why is that? This place kind of looks like. Uh... Kind of giving me um, Ulduar vibes. Heart of earthen industry, but it's Maybe not all bit. just you know, lava and fire. It's uh, mixed with these beautiful caverns, cenotes with uh, light and water coming in, creating these uh, you know lush spaces for the players to enjoy. And then uh, we go to Howlafall. Howlafall is where we wow. really uh, wanted to break expectations. Wow. That looks I like this one. Uh, this is Arathi. That looks airships. cool. Right. It looks underground really, airships. It looks right. really the first pretty. First thing you honestly. naturally think of when you're going under the surface, how are they going to get around? Well, airships, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then our uh, final airships? zone what? is Ashkahet. So this is the heart of the Nerubian oh, Empire. Cool. This is where we'll finally be able to see the Nerubians in all of their cool. strength and glory, like with the height of their Dude, civilization. Honestly, the Nerubians have been some of like the coolest characters in WoW, and we don't hardly see them that much. I think uh, we'll get into the details of Alpha later, but everyone's journey is going to start in the Isle of Dorne. But I really can't wait. I think we're actually supposed to have a couple different um, Nerubian raids, but they never actually added them into the game because they were like, ah, oh, can't do this expansion because it's, it's bad. We got to do it the next one and then get the they hold, in our testing. maybe they hold on off of, hold off on I it think the you know tina mentioned that this crystal it is such a striking visual element that it dominates is. the zone imagine in this place deep within the earth it a radiant great. crystal of light and the way you know as it illuminates the surroundings that actually plays with the environment and some of the spawns and how the world around it reacts to it oh. i think when we set out to create this underground space we knew that one of the risks cool. was that it could feel oppressive, that people didn't want to feel the sense of claustrophobia of you're always in nope. caves. Mm -hmm. Howlfall really that. from the outset was built to be a place where, honestly, unless you fly all the way up to check out the ceiling above you, it doesn't feel. Look how, look how cool, of course, you're right around on Invincible. Look how cool it looks. One of my buddies, he always complains that like, the game always feels dark. The game always feels like depressing. And I'm like, I do kind of agree with like some Asmongold points where like we need a dark I mean, like it's World of Warcraft. It's got to be dark. There's got to be some evilness into it like Garrosh. Like what happened to those bad A characters, you know? Everybody's underground. It feels like you could be outdoors now. in some vast welcoming area that's just it's incredibly epic. Was that a seagull? When we arrive to new? the Isle of Dorne, what's the first thing we'll see? Well, so you're going to see something a bit different in Alpha from when the expansion goes live. There is an expansion intro experience that is not currently being tested. It's something that has some you know, cool narrative elements that okay. we want players to all experience together later in the year when War Within launches. But players will spawn in in the Alpha on the Isle of Dorne, surrounded by some debris that will look pretty familiar and pretty distinctive and really is the scars Ooh. of an initial battle that seems like it didn't end so well um and it does look like dollaran hey look does look and and i seen this earlier we got dollaran weapons so dollaran is going to be connected in there somewhere that's pretty neat actually i like that a lot <laughs> another really cool thing that's they're adding in and might be very controversial um, but they're adding in follower dungeons. So these are NPC led or they're either follow you or the lead. 
there essentially which is really cool um we'll listen to them talk about it but <laughs> one really cool thing i've seen is that if you die in the dungeon all the npcs will rage quit <laughs> makes sense right um but as soon as you revive they'll all come back anyways um but super cool feature is not all peaceful uh, it's been overrun by a group of corrupted earth and known as the scarden and we're going to be on just beginning to understand where they came from and what their nature is as we fight through it but one cool thing about this dungeon is that it's actually part of the main campaign as you play through isle of dorn now i know some people mm -hmm. are instantly saying wait a minute i don't like doing dungeons i just like solo questing that's terrible mm -hmm. well fortunately in 1025, towards the end of Dragonflight, we introduced this feature called Follower Dungeons. And we're really happy to bring that to the level up dungeons in War Within right from the outset. So that you can go in solo with NPC allies as you play through the dungeon if that's what you prefer. Or of course you can just queue up with regular with, with friends or random group mates through the group finder. But what this lets us do is, where appropriate, we can really have the story flow directly through dungeons in a way that we couldn't in the past in ways that at times really was cool. frankly awkward because sometimes mm -hmm. major villains die in dungeons. Dungeons are places of great importance in a zone, but we couldn't really tie them directly into the questing because we didn't want to create an obstacle for players who really just prefer to keep playing. Oh, solo. Tina, is there anything okay. that you like? One of if they can manage to pull this off, but somehow do this from a level one, like beginning the game all the way to max level, It'll be a huge game-changing experience for the new players so that you can actually experience all the cool lore in the game <laughs> and you can do the dungeon and you're not forced to play with other people so you can still do it solo or you know if you just want to level up with one of your friends you can just do it that way that'd be super super cool i like that a lot so it also looks like we'll be able to get into like in an Arubian city Born on the surface That's here. Insane. They were able to go toe to toe with the Lich King's armies and win until the old gods and you know, their forces on another flank eventually led to the Arubians being overwhelmed. But look at this. It's like a jewel crafter. There's a little guy here. Look like he's going to be buying some stuff, maybe a scribe. Really being able to explore what they're all about is one of the things we're most excited about when it comes to War Within. One of the things we're excited to uh, bring is an arachnophobia filter. If you oh yeah, this is crazy. I'm surprised I haven't added this in like a long time ago, but maybe with like there being so many spiders in this expansion, they're like, yeah, maybe we do need this. Um, I've got one buddy that hates spiders <laughs> playing grounded. He turns that stuff on immediately. Well, but look how cool this It turns them into crabs. Could never, you know, go to that spider section in Nax. Uh, you'll be able to turn oh on our arachnophobia filter and all uh, spider beasts will turn into crabs. So very pumped about that. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks, it, it, it works way better than you might think just hearing okay. that sentence. I can't wait for players to you know, be able to jump in, it does, and turn it on. It does look like it works really good. And you know, hopefully feel more comfortable in parts of our world. You know, this is something that when we announced the Nerubian centric themes of War Within at BlizzCon, we heard trepidation from portions of our community who love WoW, but were worried they weren't going to be able to experience it. Gotta go over this important fact. Up for testing. Does that mean we're gonna get tier sets again? Certainly. I think <laughs> well, last time we tried taking them away, I recall <laughs> torches and pitchforks in the street. New yes. tier means new tier sets. And these days, you know, unlike we years go. and years ago, we're tier sets only back. Had, we had to raid in order to get the tier we're set. We're getting it back, now, baby. you can get them from a wide array of activities, whether you're a raider, Mythic Plus player, or an outdoor. There you go. You can get your tier if you're a raider, Mythic Plus player, or an outdoor world, world player. player which includes now delves. Ah, delves. delves. Let's get, let's start talking about delves. Yeah, I mean, delves are one of the major new features in War Within, and I think we're really excited to offer a, a more structured, progression-oriented extension of the outdoor world gameplay that we know is the favorite of so many of our players. And you know, delves are these seamless experiences mm. integrated into all of our zones where you can have these localized, varied adventures alongside in the first season, Brand Bronzebeard, either on your own or with friends. Okay. Uh, and finally, you know, get so you can do it solo or you can do it with friends. Get a shot Good. at some end game epic rewards just through an extension of the outdoor world ecosystem. Yeah, we'll be able to get it from the Great Wall. I like that where you can, it's kind of like a, 
like you don't ha you're not forced to do it with a group do you want to solo it you can like if you're up for that extra challenge especially if like your class that can't heal itself very well that'll be super cool oh, right exactly yeah, yeah super exciting so like one of that. our goals with building delves was we really wanted the player to just feel like they adventured, came across a place and could just, you know, go in and see what's inside. You, when you walk up to the delve, there's this, you know, dark, misty door and you click on it and then it just disappears and you just walk into your own personal delve instance. So very excited about that. It's like it's like your own little phase, own little instance there. And players are going to see how that first experience on the Isle of Dorne early in the alpha. Uh, the first delve they're likely to encounter is Earth Crawl Mines. You're going to encounter your good friend Bran Bronzebeard outside an ancient Bran ancient Bronzebeard that has been overrun Be with brother. Merubians who are borrowing up from the depths. Bran will ask you if you want him to outfit himself as a, as a healer or as a damage dealer to help support you. And you'll venture in and have your very first delve experience. Um, you'll be able to choose whether you want to do it on tier one or tier two difficulty. Tier one is kind of the default. This is for everyone experience. Tier two is for those who want to opt into a bit more of a challenge because that's what they enjoy. Uh, there will be higher tiers oh. that can be unlocked oh, okay. at max level as part of the end game and seasonal progression. And we really just can't wait to get player feedback from the outset, really all through alpha on this new system, on you know how it is or isn't working for you, and whether we can you know really meet everyone's expectations from people who just want a might be kind of cool if they had like a leaderboard so you can see like who's done the highest tier the fastest get some competition in there think about it, ian think about it a casual romp as an extension of their outdoor world experience to those who want a solo progression challenge that they can really mm -hmm. strive to overcome um, feedback has going to really help shape how this evolves, but we're so excited about Delves as a central part of what I'm stoked. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited stoked. that we're going to be able to just jump in and get or, like go solo with Bran, or you can have friends, but also just get rewards in that way, especially the tier sets with the Catalyst, exactly. and then that really cool mechanical mount. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to kind of be an introduction to the, sort of the Delves endgame. As you hit max level, as you hit 80, and start to get a sense of the Delves ecosystem, Right at the start of that, we're going to give you this epic customizable mount, kind of oh, the yeah, successor of to the customizable. This will be Drake the new dragon have. that you can customize uh, in Dragon <laughs> Isles. We will be able to, through doing delves, earn a variety of different customizations and attachments cool. that you can mix and match to really create your own personalized flying mount. So That's does this cool. mechanical mount have dynamic flying? This is one of the big like questions it. we had moving on from Dragonflight. We had the question of like, well, okay, dragon riding is amazing. Mm -hmm. We're in, we can't get rid of this. Mm -mm. But how is this going to work alongside of the hundreds of mounts that we already have in players' collections? And oh, how, from a design perspective, how do we navigate a world where some mounts can fly in this awesome way and others can only do the old quote unquote static flight? Uh, for Look at they've added all these mounts can dragon ride now or dynamic fly. Actually, I think our art team was able to work out an amazing solution for us. Yeah, we were very excited to is be that, able to make I pretty much that. all mounts be able to dynamically fly. So even Nimron's head, Ian, we figured it out. We made <laughs> it work. Even Nimron's so. head. I'm really excited to see Nimron's head going like super That's fast. That's cool. <laughs> Another feature coming now. in the War Within that I'm really excited about, as well as a lot of other people, is warbands. Yeah, warbands. Oh, I think, this is again, another I cool thing. At BlizzCon, it's just account-wide everything, mm -hmm. almost everything. Uh, yes. Uh, it, this, you know, yes. players increasingly play multiple characters, and this is something we've heard loud and we clear do. that you know, the do. game needs to be more all-friendly. The players want to be able to choose where they spend their time across their different characters instead of feeling like they have to reprogress everything individually. And so the you know, Warband is just, it is your account in its entirety. It is your collection of champions, whether they're Horde or Alliance. Regardless. What is a Warband bank, baby? You could just put this, you could just put it right in there. What realm there? You don't gotta mail nothing to your other characters. You just put it in there. They're on, they're all part of the same Warband which gives access 25 to various shared progression systems. He's broke, though. And then you get to see <laughs> all of your broke. favorites on, uh, you know, one screen together. So uh, in our new UI, we'll have warbands, and you'll be is this Is this the new character screen? 
You just see your characters chilling there like that? It'll be like, you know, move four up into that space and see them all hanging out around a campfire. This should have been a thing a long time ago since like Diablo 3 days, honestly, but... Fire? Is that on the Finally. character's select screen? Yeah, the character's select oh, screen. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's going to be totally different than what we're used to logging in. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you'll, you'll yes. know what, this is a completely different world. It's a completely different welcome yes. into World of Warcraft. Um, what we showed off at BlizzCon was just actually a UI mock-up, but we're excited to see people react to the real thing. And really, as with everything else, you know, warbands are a foundation. They're, this is a system that we want to build Dude. the next generations of World of Warcraft on. You know, in 2004, WoW launched with everything character-based. In 2024, yep. WoW is going to shift to everything being account-based. Okay. And we can't wait to hear feedback about what okay. other areas we can expand upon here. And that's going to shape not just War Within, but later updates and expansions. And we're just you know, just excited about this platform that better reflects the way our players are looking to play World of Warcraft today. You can't... The craziest thing is, like, endgame raiders are going to be like, oh, you know, I play a paladin, but... Warriors flavor of the month. I'm gonna just try. I'll just go build. It'll be easy. It won't take five days to do it. Can't forget about PvP. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so we have a new battleground called the Deep Hall. This one is earthen themed. It's a bit of a mashup between a Silver Shard Mines and a Wait, Matthew what? Basin. So you know, hold some points, push some carts. Uh, we're really excited to see how players uh, navigate oh, around this one. Yeah, and in terms of how players are interacting with it, um, there is an overhaul to our rated battleground system that is coming uh, with an overhaul to the rated battleground system. War within. Uh, people who've been paying attention over the course of Dragonflight have checked out our uh, Battleground Blitz, our uh -huh. kind of brawl that was testing out a 8v8 solo queue rated Battleground format. Test. That, yep. Somebody called that out. I don't remember who it was. Somebody in the PvP communities. Are you? No, I don't think it was Are you? I can't remember who it was. Yeah. We're Wait. happy. So this is going to be an AV rated battleground. We move to that as a default for how rated battlegrounds are going to work going forward. I think we're really excited to make that battleground. Wait, so that's how battlegrounds that are going to work from now on. Is the best part of WoW PvP, that larger scale, more cooperative, objective based, um, you know, collaborative, competitive setting as opposed to the deathmatch style in arena, so to make that more accessible to everyone who you know loves battlegrounds, loves PvP. Um, we know, you know, it's a bit overdue, honestly, us mm -hmm. adding a new battleground map into the rotation. Definitely and we're excited is. to do more of this going forward. We're excited to have a new framework that can make battlegrounds more central to the end game rewarding part of PvP. And yeah, this is just you know, the beginning of a new chapter. Another feature. Hold in on. So, from what I heard, is that AVA battlegrounds are going to be the new, they're going to be a solo queue. And it's going to be the new way to do PvP. Essentially, that's how. That's essentially what they're going to be wanting you to do is APA battlegrounds. Cool. I think. I I like. <laughs> I'm I'm mixed with this because honestly, I feel like solo queue completely ruined PvP and Dragonflight. It was great at the beginning, but now it's just like there's. It's so bad right now. There's nobody playing PvP. I'm gonna hope for the best. It looks fun. It sounds fun. I don't know how people are gonna communicate. I hope people start using the in-game voice chat, dude. In-game voice chat even works in Season of Discovery. I tested it the other day with my buddy. It works really good. I don't know why Blizzard is hiding that feature in-game. Like It should be like, hey, it's right here. Click on this. You can talk to other people. Click hit here. You can talk to people in your group. You're doing a dungeon. You want to talk to him? Click right here. But like, you gotta, you, it's hidden. Like, you can't find it. You guys need to put that back in the game and tell people where it is and throw it in front of people so people can talk. Because that's an MMO. We need to communicate. We want to socialize. That's what 80% of people go into MMOs to do. You hear me? Okay. War Within is Hero Town. So we've been having a lot of articles talking about them. What are some of the other things that we can expect with the Hero Talents coming forward? Oh yeah, well, Hero Talents. No more blogs and articles Dude, Hero releasing Talents Hero Talents because they'll be there for you to some jump in and play. Sick. And I think that's you know the, mo the most exciting thing. Ones We're that so I've grateful seen. to the community for all of the feedback and discussion in recent months, going back to the first blog in December. This really helped us shape this central feature of how people's class gameplay is going to evolve. 
Um, you're going to see hero talents that you haven't yet seen for the trees that we haven't discussed previously. And for many of the ones that we have released, you'll log in and see changes that are directly shaped by your feedback, uh, by what, what we heard loud clear in some... Is that a warlock summoning a pit lord, or is that a demon hunter summoning a pit lord? Soul shard, that's a warlock ability. What is wait? What? That's kind of crazy. It's a little over the top. I like the way it looks, but it's a little too extra at the same time. Like simple is better. Simple. Simple things. Like seeing that in PvP, I'm gonna be distracted. <laughs> I'm gonna be very distracted. Cases about what was and wasn't exciting. Um, we've, we've committed to have as many of these playable right from the outset as possible. We will have 100% of the hero talent trees available. Oh, they can playable, move around now? Long into alpha. And well, then the paladins. rest of the journey is going to be about iteration, tuning, paladins and really just dialing it all in to make the polished experience that everyone Frostfire Frostfire Mastery. So what are we course. doing with professions in the War Within? Uh, I think when we really overhaul professions in Dragonflight, we saw that as, as a kind of a permanent shift in how professions were going to work going forward. So you can expect, you know, new recipes, different enchants, but the same fundamental sort of progression and structure to professions that you saw in Dragonflight. One big piece of feedback that we heard throughout Dragonflight, though, was a bit of frustration with the work order system from crafters who yeah. were just looking to complete yeah. quests, looking sense. to skill up, but found themselves competing and often racing to grab work orders with their fellow crafters. Um, so what we're excited to offer is a baseline availability of basically NPC crafting orders. Uh, so it could be, you know, earthen. That actually sounds really cool. So instead of just making stuff and then going and selling it to a vendor, you're making it for an, I mean, it's an NPC, but like still like it makes you feel like you're doing, you're actually doing something like it's, it's bigger than just yourself. Which I think is really cool. In Isle of Dorne, I think it's really cool. Need a hammer made or need a helmet made, and they're constantly putting their offer, their work orders up. And then it feels like you know, like, oh yeah, you're like suiting up the NPCs to like go and fight. That's cool. Onto the onto the market, so that there's always something for you to grab. The player ones will still be more lucrative, but there should always be that baseline availability if you just want to skill up, you just want to practice your trade skill. There's also some cool potential for narrative tie-ins, the ability to have quests that now can point you towards that system because we can count on it always being there. So yeah, with yeah, Dragonflight yeah. and the profession overhaul, there was also a UI overhaul. Is there anything we're going to see with The War Within? Yeah, so the UI overhaul, it's basically mm -hmm. a continued... ...owns other portions of War Within, um, inviting more waves of people. If you haven't gone to the website to opt in yet, that's a great reminder to do so. <laughs> um, we, you know, really pick from really, true. There's no secret to it. We're just randomly pulling lots of folks in and hope to get by the end of this countless people into our testing. Um, once we've gotten through all of those rounds of focus testing, we'll move into our beta phase, which really is an end to end holistic test of war within from 70 all the way to 80 and the end game and beyond. And throughout, you know, feedback, bug reports, suggestions, all of this is instrumental mm -hmm. to helping turn what we have now into the finished product that we want to be the best it possibly can be for all of our players later this year. I love hearing that. That's awesome. If you guys want to go play test, jump in there. Um, but honestly, um, Ian, everybody at Blizzard, you guys are doing a good job. You guys are doing a good job. <laughs> Um, my really, my only feedback is you, you guys got to put more effort into PVP. Like I want it to be so good, honestly, and it can. And I think the fact that Blizzard gave up on like esports and that kind of stuff is pretty sad. Um, but hopefully they bring it back with like Plunderstorm. Maybe this 8v8 mode might, uh, bring the community back together for PVP. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, these are all my new favorite features that are being added to the game. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for the War Within? Let me know. Comment down below. You guys have a great rest of your day. We will see you later. Oh,